What's up guys, Robsco here, and these are the $30 Gore Sun ANC headphones. So this is the box that it comes in, fairly basic, you open it up, you see your headphones and a small red box that contains your accessories that include an airline adapter, a micro USB cable, and your 3.5 to 3.5 headphone jack. So starting from the top, we have this synthetic leather with the only visible logo of Gorsun embossed into the top. It's got this really soft material, the cushioning, it's very soft and it works very well for long periods of use. So you're definitely not going to feel any kind of head fatigue. So moving down, we have our extending brackets and they're actually really impressive because first off, they're made of metal. And second off, they're not mushy whatsoever, they actually have very nice tactile clicks and every single step you can feel the difference too. And this is on both sides, so there's a bit of quality control here that makes the headphones feel much more premium than it actually is. It is a $30 pair of headphones and these steps are even better than some $60, $70 headphones. And whether you have a big head or a small head, these extending brackets will definitely accommodate those sizes. We also have pivoting joints so the cans can actually move 90 degrees so that if it's on your neck, you can actually rest the ear cups onto your neck, which is more comfortable. And they also fold in on themselves so you can actually save a little space if you're going to put this in your backpack. As for the cans, they're pretty basic. It's made with this light plastic material, fairly durable, nice and smooth, and it has this kind of matte coating that makes it look really luxurious. But we also have our microphones that are made of metal for our A and C. We have one on the top body and then we have one tucked behind our little bracket here. And now moving on to the ear pads, they're actually very comfortable. Like they're super soft, they're very comfortable and the spacing on the inside is big enough so that your ear is actually completely encased with the cushioning so that you get this passive noise cancellation if your ANC is not on. They're big, they're comfortable, and there's not really much to complain about this. Your ears are probably going to be maybe a little hot after a few hours of wear, but that's normal. But overall, the general quality of these headphones are great. They don't rattle, the buttons here are very tactile and very solid. So here we have the ANC switch, and it's actually very tactile, nice and solid. When it's off, it just looks like a regular switch, and when you turn it on, the other side has a little blue LED for you to know that the ANC is on. And of course, this uses battery. And on the same ear, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack, so just in case you run out of batteries, you can listen to it like a regular pair of headphones. And on the left ear can, we have our micro USB port for charging the battery, and then we have our three tactile buttons. You can play, pause, answer phone calls, move forward, move back a track, turn up volume, turn down volume, it's all great. And you also have these little ridges on each of the buttons for button placements without looking at them, but it's not really necessary. Connectivity is super simple just like any other Bluetooth headphones. You hold the middle button for as long as you can until it starts flashing blue and red, and then you can connect to any of your devices and it will say power on when it's on and then it will say power off when it's off. As for comfort, the headphones feel great. First off, your ear is completely covered by the ear cups and the ear pads, so that's really nice. You get that passive noise cancellation, which is pretty effective. And then you have the cushioning of the headband, which is pretty good. It's not too hard and it's pretty soft so that even for long periods of listening hours, you can still feel comfortable and not feel any kind of clamping, which brings me to the clamping force of these headphones. It's pretty good. It's not as crazy as the Sennheiser BTNCs, which is good because those clamp pretty hard. Not sure about you guys, but I feel like the cans are a little big than I expected and I would prefer them to be a little smaller. The shape is a little more familiar because it looks like the Sony 1000X M3s, which is cool because it kind of gives that same design, but not in the same way. But when it comes to the side angles, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. Looks pretty nice. The controls are on the left side, which as a right-handed person is not that great, but you'll get used to it if you use this as like a daily driver, so that's not too bad. And then you have the ANC switch on the right here, which is very tactile, and you can definitely hear it when you click it to ANC or turn off ANC. So overall, wearing experience is pretty good. Comfort is very good. I've been wearing this for gaming and just going to school with these headphones. They're pretty good, but overall to me, seems a little bulky, but that's a personal opinion. The ANC is also really great and that says a lot because this is a pair of $30 headphones and they have good ANC, it's not the best ANC out there obviously, it's $30, the audio quality is pretty good, the isolation is actually pretty clean actually, there's not that much hissing noise which is pretty incredible for the price that you're paying for. There's no interruptions if you move the headphones whatsoever, the microphones are on the sides, so just like any other ANC headphones, 
you're gonna start off with a lower mid frequency right here and then once you turn on the ANC it's definitely going to increase those higher frequencies make it seem even more of a surround sound kind of feel. So here's a little snippet of what it sounds like with ANC off and ANC on. I've been using these headphones for the past two weeks and I will say that they're really good and I think they're really worth the money that you're paying for. $30, you're getting Bluetooth 5.0, you're getting ANC, which is really good, Good cushioning, it has the design or similar design of the Sony 1000 XM3s, which is really nice. And the only sort of branding that you'll ever see is on the top here on the leather headband. And of course, nobody's gonna see that unless they're like six foot and they're looking down at you. Surprisingly, I have no complaints about this pair of headphones. They're $30, so they're super cheap. The quality is actually really decent and I would definitely recommend getting this, especially if you're gonna see it on sale. On Amazon, you can get it for around $30, which is really nice, so just grab it while you can. It's easy to use, it has good quality audio, it has ANC, and it's only $30. Links are gonna be in the description down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.